My name is Jacob Hill and I am the founder of Offploy Community Interest Company. We support businesses to recruit people with criminal convictions because we're on a mission to reduce reoffending and make society safer by placing people with criminal convictions into meaningful, mentored and sustainable employment. Ban the Box is a nationally recognised scheme that encourages employers to no longer ask the do you have a criminal conviction question at the application form stage. Instead, employers are encouraged to ask the question either at interview stage or not at all. This will encourage more people to apply for roles and vacancies in a talent short market. Guidant Global recognises the value people with criminal convictions can bring to their organisation and they've decided to no longer ask the do you have a criminal conviction question at the application form stage. Instead, they will now ask candidates at the interview stage and consider them on a case-by-case -case basis. When we hear the words people with criminal convictions, it's natural to think of ex-offenders, ex-prisoners or even worse, ex-convicts. When we hear the word people with criminal convictions, we know that it actually represents 11 million people in the United Kingdom. We know that it represents one in three adult males between the ages of 18 and 52. And we know that over 50% of convictions are for driving related offences, which include speeding points. It's really important for Offploy to state and to know that when we think of people with criminal convictions, we think of people. When we look at people with criminal convictions and consider candidates on a case-by-case -case basis, it's really important to look at the circumstances behind people's convictions. I could share stories with you of candidates that we've supported into employment who have come from a whole range of backgrounds. One of our candidates uh, was a, a lady who was a teaching assistant who made a mistake, she got drunk and she fell asleep behind the wheel of her stationary parked car. The police found her, the police arrested her, she lost her job she lost any ability to go and work in that sector again and it was something she loved doing and something she was passionate about. We supported this candidate into employment who now manages a team of people also with criminal convictions to help others secure employment. This is a really powerful story of recognising people's character over their conviction. I'm also a person with a criminal conviction and I'm the son of two police officers. I made a stupid mistake and I was arrested with drugs at a music festival. It was whilst inside prison that I actually came up with the idea to start off ploy because I recognised the talent and the desire and the motivation of the guys inside in, in their needs and their wants for securing employment. I found that really powerful and I knew that they could offer something to employers. There's all sorts of benefits to recruiting people with criminal convictions. The first one I can think of is the motivation of the candidates that we work with. They are so keen to just get back into work, get on the employment ladder and prove that they're capable of doing that and contributing to society. We have many people who are actually quite skilled for their roles um, and may have come from quite senior positions and are willing to take a step down so that they can once again rebuild their life and rebuild their career. We think that's really powerful uh, to consider candidates because you'll get people from a whole range of backgrounds and a range of skill sets. If the candidates you're looking at don't have the skill set that you require, you can actually work with the Ministry of Justice or the government to uh, encourage them to train people up in particular skills and particular areas, whether it's looking for a forklift truck licence or going crazy and saying, let's look at people who can do bookkeeping or accountancy at level one, level two, level three. There's a whole range of options there to work with people who have criminal convictions. I think one of the key benefits is the availability of talent. At the moment, there's 11 million people with criminal convictions in the UK, and there is a portion of employers who will not even consider recruiting people with criminal convictions. I'm so glad to see that that's actually changing, and more and more people are keen to recruit people uh, with the criminal convictions. Now is the time to actively start doing that because businesses are actually benefiting and this is another benefit from an enhanced reputation so they can get their brand out there to say they're doing the right thing on society and they're benefiting from having a great talent pool. If you're interested in finding out more information, you can contact either Guidant Global or Offploy. Whether it's looking at banning the box or hiring your first person with a criminal conviction, Together, we can support you to achieve your goals, whatever they might be.